Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, we're going to talk about the don'ts of demoing a racket. What people are doing wrong. Stay tuned. Good morning to everybody out there. Coffee sponsor of today is D Feng. It's D F E N G. Uh, who hooked it up today? Uh, D Feng doesn't didn't write anything, so he just wanted to hook me up with my piping hot dark roast today. If you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin link is below we're going to talk about the don'ts of um demoing rackets so i've been doing demo programs for over 30 years and i've seen everything now you know people come in asking a thousand questions and I think a lot of the times they're asking questions just to ask questions. So on your visits to your pro shop or your uh, tennis store, when you're berating that poor guy, asking him every little minute detail about those rackets, right? Think about it this way. Are you really listening to the answer that they're giving you? And will you remember what the rackets are all about when you get on the court? I would say 99.9% .9 no, because at that moment in which you are trying to demo out your rackets, you are trying to fact find, which is pretty much useless at that point, because if they're giving you rackets, your main job is to try them out and see how it feels to you, right? If you're asking the person behind the counter how it feels, what are you getting? You're getting their opinion, if they've even tried it. And you're getting the opinion in which was written, which is a generalized opinion from their own, you know, from the company's own studies, of those particular rackets. So when people ask me little minute details about rackets, I pretty much look at them and say, why don't you just take the rackets out, try them, why don't you tell me what you felt? And then we can kind of go from there. Because I feel like everybody's trying to make a decision, right, on what my opinion is versus their own because at the end of the day it's going to be your racket not mine and i can tell you as much as i know about the racket but at the end of the day it's going to be your racket okay so don't ask a lot of questions try the racket because feeling is believing okay so don't forget that one the other thing people do is, let's say they take out this Dunlop CX400 Tour and they take out something else like this Instinct, okay? So we allow for two at a time. Some places go for three or four, if, you know, depending on the program, the demo program. And they're like, oh, I really like this Dunlop. I'm gonna hang on to this. Is it okay to hang on to this one and turn this one in? and then try something else against this one. It could be a good idea, but I, I'd like to tell people that since you're in the demo program, I mean, unless you've demoed a few rounds already, like three or four rounds, and you've had six to eight rackets in your hand that you've already tried, and that this seems to be the front runner, then maybe it's okay to hang on to it. But if it's like your first or second round and you, these were your first two, right? 
You're in a demo program to try a bunch of rackets, not hang on to the first one you like. Let's, let's try a bunch. We'll star this one knowing that you liked it and maybe double back for it later on so that, you know, maybe you had a great day with this one and all your future days with this one is going to be real bad. So like anomalies and rackets kind of go hand in hand. Rackets and you and me have love-hate relationships. So we don't know what we're going to get. So the best thing to do is just try. Keep trying them until you really find something you like. Okay? And then try the two best that you like and then choose from one of those. You know what I mean? So I feel like, I mean, when, when people find a racket that they like after a few rounds, they usually want to keep hanging on to it. Well, then that's usually your racket. Okay? It's like what I tell people. You already found your, let's say, true love in a racket, right? And you've dated that true love three or four times now. What are you looking for now? Are you looking for your destiny love? Think about how many times you've uh, gone down that road in other facets of your life to find your destiny love. How's that worked out for you? Yeah, I know. Okay? All right, so enough about that. If you like it already, and you liked it twice, three times, that's the one for you. Okay? Now, the other thing is grip size. I know that there are people that are size zeros and there are people that are five, size five eights. And obviously a lot of them in, are in between. Uh, demos really only come in quarters and three eighths from the manufacturer. So whatever the grip size is, just kind of live with it during the demo process, unless it's way too small or way too big for you. Um, usually quarter and three eighths is kind of it. Uh, what I tell people is get the feel, get a feel for the racket. And then when it's time to buy, will get you your size, okay? But what you wanna do is kinda just get a feel for it. See if you and that racket, you know, kinda mesh, right? Can you get along? Does it work for you, okay? Remember, we're dating the racket. We ain't marrying it yet, okay? So, now, the string and the tension have a little bit to do in the demo process. Um, obviously, you're feeling the strings and then you're feeling the racket so kind of keep that in mind, right? When you're doing it, it does make a difference. So if they have like a poly in the same racket versus a multi in the same racket, that is going to change. So see what you normally play with versus what they have in there and see if they can work that out with you because that will alter things a bit. Okay. But again, this isn't the final process, okay? Try it out with whatever they have in there if that's all they got, if you have to try that particular racket. And finally, as you know, rackets only come in certain colors. So you're gonna have to live with, well, most of the time, you're gonna have to live with whatever colors they come in unless you want to go to like the Wilson lab and pick out your own colors and customize it that way. So don't be, I mean, unless you pick on color, you might as well just go to the wall and pick the color you want and just go with that racket and forget the demoing process altogether. Because if color is your number one priority, then demoing really doesn't matter. All right. So guys, don't make the mistakes that I tell people every day. Just go through the process date the rackets, and then eventually marry the one that you like. All right? Remember, love at first sight. Great at fairy tales. Probably uh, doesn't really work well with tennis rackets. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. All right, guys, are you looking for a coach? 
a pro, I know it's been super difficult looking for somebody out there to teach you. And I'm in the game myself, and it's super difficult to find somebody to, you know, teach you, somebody to hit with. Um, we know that the number one reason why people give up the game is because they can't find anybody to play with. And now you can't find anybody to teach you. Well, this is where play your court is going to give you a hand. All right. Check out play your court. They have professionals. They have hitting partners. They even help you set up a game. The resources are there for you to keep you in the game of tennis. Go to playyourcourt.com forward slash tennis spin and get your own personal discount from me. Link is below. Stay in the game.